Alright, what is going on guys? So today we have a little video to how to farm the new Ikelos weapons and this also can have a chance of dropping red borders. So the resident amp. So you use four resident stem, you combine them and then it gives you a location like we can see here. Connection establish, lunar, sorrow, altars, recess. So lunar being the moon. So you go to the moon. Then sorrow's harbour. And then it's just sort of uh, figuring out so it's within this area. You've got to sort of just figure it out. But you can just bump the music up. Uh, oh, bump, yeah, sound music up. And you can listen out because you can hear the faint music of these little guys. So if you played the Warmind DLC, this these will be very familiar for you. So you can get these little dudes. Uh, one thing I want to point out, the Expert Tracker... So the chest, because the technically chest slash caches doesn't work for them. And then also just in case it's a resource. Doesn't detect either. So fortunately, a quite useful thing to help you find them. No use. So don't need that. So let's open one up. Sweet, we've got a red box. <laughs> nice. Uh, so I got a red box uh, I kill a sniper Incandescent Seraph rounds. I mean that's a pretty decent roll to be fair incandescent on that is gonna be pretty nuts But the weapon that I want to see is incandescent on the shotty because that if you can get substance in that first uh, slot as well That's gonna be pretty nuts. So I just thought I'd make this video nice and quick one. So if I do combine Europa, Eventine, Cliff, Refuge so so I'd f then go to Europa, Eventide, which is over here, and then it'll be somewhere around here. Let's actually fly to it and uh, try and figure out where it is. So I got myself a red box there, which I'm quite happy with. Now all these weapons are craftable. You got Ikel's hand cannon. You got the SMG. Got the shotty, and we have the sniper rifle, which I've already found one deep sight via doing this. So this is a good use of your um, of your resonant stems and your time in between waiting, and you know, say you're waiting for people to jump on or whatever, or you're waiting for like tonight with the dungeon releasing, and you want something to do while like you got like an hour or so. This is a very good thing to do. So let's try and figure this out on. While, while we're live. <laughs> All on court. So, Eventide Cliff Refuge. So, Eventide Cliff. I mean, there's cliffs over here. So, you see the screen went a little bit green. And we've got Riss Reborn key codes there. So, I mean, I think that means we're close. So, I'm guessing, potentially down here. There you go, the screen's going more green. There it is. Boom. So if you have a good layout of the map and you pretty much know where stuff is, then it's going to be a lot easier for you. But, there we go. We've got the Ikelos shotgun. Now, I'll be doing a video on a breakdown of all of these. If you want more resonant stems, uh, then, as it says, resonant stems can be found by completing activities and opening Seraph chests. So, if you have a ton of Seraph codes, Seraph key codes, and do the seasonal uh, battleground playlist, then you will get resonant stems at the end of that. So you can easily farm these just by playing the game. Um, there's different ways you can get. So if you get a checkpoint on a boss, it takes seconds to do. You can just farm that, get them, boom, there you go, sorted. Uh, I believe a very good one that you can do that takes no time at all if you head to the dungeon and the Shattered Throne. Get yourself a checkpoint on that, and then just smash that out, and away you go. And then you can get loads and loads and loads of these surf keys, and then just farm these, and you can get yourselves nice and easy red boxes. I will be doing a breakdown of the roles of these weapons, potential god roles. Because um, as you can see with the sniper, it has incandescent, so if this thing has a vault shot, whew, <laughs> that thing is going to be like... That's going to be S tier. That's going to be nuts. This can get incandescent as well. That I, I mean, 
Whew. <laughs> we got some odd clear weapons, like straight up, just they're gonna be just absolutely nuts. This sniper as well, with incandescent, I'm gonna have a play around with this, but I feel like that's gonna be pretty good, especially with it being a rapid fire frame. That's gonna be a hell of a lot of fun. PvE just add clear. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Found this useful, make sure you drop a like. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've crafted any of these weapons yet. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.